good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i haven't had a chance to check out carrying cross versus finn balor i know that happened last week and i'm pretty sure it was a um, pretty good match i just didn't get a chance to check it out because i was kind of busy with recording and stuff like that i'm trying to get some other videos situated but i will probably go check it out after i finish recording um, these videos and I'm trying to get out to you guys on this channel so I'm actually gonna take some time to watch that match but I kind of figured the outcome was going to be Karrion Cross retaining the NXT championship it wouldn't make sense for them to throw the belt right back on uh Finn Balor but hey I'm okay with that because they're building up Karrion Cross as this next legitimate big threat in WWE I just hope whenever he does go to the main roster that they just continue to carry his momentum but right now adam cole has returned adam cole has been out of action since the last time we've seen him at nxt takeover going against kyle o'reilly and i did see the clip previous to this where basically adam cole disrupts a triple threat match to see who's going to be the number one contender to face carrying cross at the next nxt takeover the match was between johnny gargano kyle o'reilly and pete dunn and that's when adam cole comes out of nowhere and just dis destroys the match he destroys everyone disrupts the match causes chaos william regal has to come out there with officials and security to pretty much get a hold on things and all the competitors were laid out so we don't know what's going to happen here, and it looks like he's calling out Karrion Cross, man. So I'm interested to see what comes out of this because this could be pretty, pretty dope. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm looking forward to seeing what was said in this promo segment. Let's check it out. Two years ago to the day, I became the NXT champion. And whether NXT wants to admit it or not, whether Regal wants to admit it or not, you are looking at the real number one contender. Okay. You took out everybody, so. I've been gone for two months. Damn. And for two months, I watched as everybody, everybody tried to live up to my legacy. And surprise, surprise, everybody failed. Because I just took out three of NXT's top stars, and I did it in one night. So you know what this that means, boys and girls? That means old Adam Cole, baby, wants the NXT Championship back. I like it, I like it. Which brings me to you, Karrion Cross. Cross, people think that, think that you're some kind of monster, but I see right through you. To me, you're nothing more than a big overrated muscle head who doesn't deserve wow. to be in the same ring as me. Okay, this is nice. You think it was a mistake that I held the NXT championship for 403 days? I'm not going to lie to you. He was putting NXT on his back. Not even going to lie to you. He was carrying NXT on his back, man. That... His title run will definitely be remembered. He had some of the greatest matches NXT has ever produced, man. You think that happened by accident? Little man! Your motives tonight, getting involved with the triple threat? understandable you want to be the nxt champion again no it's not yours first of all and secondly let me explain something <laughs> to you no matter what you ever do it's never going to change things in the grand scheme you know why because when i signed here at nxt on the dotted line you no longer became special <laughs> nice the thing Karen Cross is the complete package, bro. He's great on the mic. He has great in-ring presence. He has he has the girl like he has the complete wrestling package, bro. He's intimidating, fierce, like bruh. I like that. As soon as I signed on the dotted line, you weren't special no more, bro. Your time was up, tick tock. Your time was up. I like this, man. And you know that. 
We, we can talk about it out here. We don't have to go back there. But hey, 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 humor me. Tell me a story. Entertain me, Mr. Cole. Explain to I me. I would be happy to, Mr. Overrated. Oh, nice. The truth is, you ain't Adam Cole, baby, and you never will be. Because this brand has done everything in their power to make you feel special. Well, you, you got the cool music, you got the lights, you got the fog machine, you got the girl. You know what they do to make Adam Cole feel special? They ring the freaking bell. Man, Adam Cole is a gym. Karen Cross is a gym too. I just wish that if they do go to the main roster, it they don't lose their momentum. But nine times out of ten, they will. <laughs> so it's like until Vince steps down, I really don't want them to go to the main roster because they're just so much better in NXT. Because they go to the main roster. The only person I think that will actually somewhat still keep his momentum is Karrion Cross. Adam Cole, he'll be fine for maybe a couple months and then they'll bury him. But Karrion Cross, I would be surprised if they mess him up. But then again, they did the same thing with Drew McIntyre. They didn't really push him correctly. He had to get over on his own and then he got the right push. So I don't know, man. I just stay in the NXT. That's just my 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 assumption here. My my uh two cents. Just stay in the NXT. <laughs> Because on your best day, you couldn't lace my boots. I like you this. You can't hang with me. You aren't on my level. And anybody who watches pro wrestling knows that. This is nice. And what I want at TakeOver is everyone in the match. Give me Kyle O'Reilly. I like give this. Give me Johnny Gargano. Give me Pete Dunne. And give me this gas station weasel, Adam Cole. <laughs> and I promise you, listen to me very carefully, I promise you, no matter what kind of politicking you think you can do today until then, you're not getting out of this ass kicking. Nice. Nice. Trust me, you get out of here. Trust me. I'm a different guy in the I'm a different guy. Good. Wait for me back. Trump. Oh wow. It's done. I said it's done. A fatal five whoa, 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 whoa. Beth, watch out. A fatal five way. I run this show, bro. You ain't ever fought anybody like me. I am an NXT. You can kiss me at a championship. Goodbye. Because I run this show. Always have, always will. This is this is nice. Oh wow! See you soon, Jeff. See you soon, punk. Wow! I'm, bro, I'm liking this. Adam Cole certainly getting the attention of the NXT Start champion, Kerry Cross. Don't let this guy Five superstars in your house with the title. Um, a fatal five way, man. A fatal five way. Johnny Gargano versus Kyle O'Reilly versus Pete Dunne versus Adam Cole versus Karrion Cross for the, the WWE NXT Championship. Hey, man, sign me up. Sign me the F up, bro. That's going to be a great match. There's a lot of story to be told within that entire match. Oh, man. You know what? The right person to win is Karrion Cross, bro. Karrion Cross, I think, should win that match. The question is, who does he pin? Does he pin Adam Cole? Does he... I don't know who he pins there. I, I think... You could make a, a nice little legitimate feud. He probably pins a Kyle O'Reilly or he probably probably pins a Pete Dunne, somebody else. But you can still continue the feud because Adam Cole could be like, bro, you never pinned me. You pinned everyone else, but you didn't pin me. 
you didn't beat me so i i think they're gonna go with that i think that's gonna be the the proper way to book this is to have carrying cross win and have him pin somebody else and then potentially continue to feud with adam cole but comment down below let me know what you guys think who you think is going to win this match i would love your thoughts and opinions on this i'm looking forward to the next nxt takeover i think this is going to be fantastic but i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace